Hello, my name is Chukwe Mekielindu, and I'm a PharmD candidate of the class of 2022. And I'll be speaking to you about the medication Leothyronine, also known as Cytomel, and Triostat. Leothyronine is a synthetic man-made form of the thyroid hormone naturally occurring in the body. Indications for leothyronine include hypothyroidism, myxedema coma, suppression test for diagnosing hypothyroidism cases, and off-label indications include antidepressant augmentation, cadaveric organ recovery for hormonal resuscitation, and prevention of memory deficit for those using electroconvulsive therapy. Administration for this medication orally must be administered at the same time each day, and for those using it through the IV means, it must be used only intravenously and not be administered intramuscularly or subcutaneously. Some side effects patients see while taking leothyroxine include irregular heart rhythm, increased heart rate, hypotension, such as decreased blood pressure, and potentially heart attacks. The mechanism of action for leothyronine is through binding through to the nuclear thyroid receptor, which binds to the thyroid hormone response elements of the target genes. And as a result, this induces gene expression that is required for normal growth and development. The formulation for leothyronine includes the intravenous form, which comes in as triostat, 10 micrograms per milliliter in a one milliliter dose, and a oral tablet in the form of five micrograms, 25 micrograms, and 50 micrograms. For patients using leothyronine for hypothyroidism, the initial dose is 25 micrograms daily, which may be increased by 25 micrograms every one to two weeks for a maintenance dose between 25 to 75 micrograms daily. For those taking it for myxedema coma, as an adjunctive, it must be used adjunctively in combination with levothyroxine with an initial dose of anywhere between five to 20 microgram loading dose and a maintenance dose of 2.5 to 10 micrograms every eight hours. And for those using it for suppression tests, it must be given orally between 75 to 100 micrograms daily for seven days, and radioactive iodide uptake is determined before and after administration. Patients using leothyronine for antidepressant augmentation should be given an initial dose of 25 micrograms a day, which may be increased to 50 micrograms a day after one week based on their response and tolerability to the medication with a normal dose range between 20 and 62 and a half micrograms a day. Those using it for cadaveric organ recovery for hormonal resuscitation should be given an IV bolus of four micrograms followed by a continuous infusion of three micrograms per hour and then served to the brain dead donor. Those using leothyronine for prevention of memory deficits while undergoing electroconvulsive therapy should be given an oral 50 microgram once daily administered the day before beginning the electroconvulsive therapy in the morning and every morning until the last session. For those using leothyronine while having renal impairments, there are no dose adjustments provided by the manufacturer, but should use it with caution as leothyronine undergoes substantial renal excretion. For those patients using leothyronine with hepatic impairments, there are no dose adjustments provided by the manufacturers. Warnings and precautions for this medication include patients who have adrenal insufficiencies as this may worsen their symptoms. Patients who have cardiovascular disease should be given a reduced initial dose and be very conservative when titrating upwards as overtreatment with this medication may increase the risk of adverse cardiovascular events. Thyroid supplements are ineffective and potentially toxic for weight reduction. High doses may produce serious or even life-threatening toxic effects, particularly when added with other weight loss drugs. 
Monitoring parameters for this medication include thyroid stimulating hormone testing four to six weeks after the initiation or dose changes, as well as heart rate, blood pressure, new or worsening uh, cardiac symptoms, clinical signs of hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, and bone mineral density four to six months after the dose is determined and followed by every 12 months afterwards.